If your mind has been running around all morning, now's the time for it to settle in. Think of a flock of birds flying around and then settling down suddenly on a telephone wire and telephone pole. You can bring the mind to a stop like that. As the Buddha said, to remind yourself that death could come tomorrow. In fact, it, tomorrow may be too far away. It could come at any time. Are you ready? What needs to be done to get ready? And then you just do that. This is called being heedful. But the problem with the practice is you can't go straight to nirvana in a few seconds. It takes time. It's meticulous work. So take care as you get the mind to settle down. Make a survey all around the body. Wherever you notice any obvious patterns of tension, allow them to relax. Then look at the mind. Is it ready to settle down? Sometimes you can go straight to the breath, other times you have to work with the mind to remind them why it's good to be here. What good work could be done right here? Because when you go, the work of the world will mean nothing at that point. No one can come in and force you to do the work, because you're going. And all you have to take with you is the quality of your mind. So what quality of mind do you have? See, this is the most important thing you want to pay attention to as you go through the whole day. Even when you're not sitting here with your eyes closed, try to be, keep tabs on the state of your mind. And John Fuang would say, as you're doing chores around the monastery, and you see your mind wandering off into areas where it shouldn't go, just stop whatever you're doing. Get the mind in place. Remind yourself that you can't allow it to wander in places like that. Think of the story of the quail, the story of the monkeys. They wandered off into what was not their territory, and they got caught. So you don't want to be caught outside of your territory. Or think of the squirrels that have their nest on one side of the road. They're off on the other side of the road. A car comes along, and all they can think of is the safety of the net nest. So they run into the road, which is where all the danger is. And you often can get run over that way. Stay on your side of the road. Don't go wandering off into dangerous places. So look after your mind as the number one priority of the day. Make sure it's in good shape. And then everything else good will follow from that.